Molyneux 2015, the live draw. Let's go. We've done that before. Make it a good one. Remember what I gave him plus above you. He said he's last year. Four. Told you. Oh, you bugger. Told you. Take a moment. Take a moment. Two. The curse. You've got five seconds or you're going back to the back unit. Who picks out the next one? Jets. Paul picks the next one. Oh, yeah. yeah. Fucking. I didn't take the picture. Picks up all the best ones as well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's really fine, the glory. That one will be. Who? Oh. <laughs> Frank. Frank. Cheers, mate. You're welcome. A bit of pressure there, Frank. Oh. <laughs> Hurry up, mate. Fucking hell. I'll go barn. Oh, you bitch. Ooh. After all that hassle you gave I've already picked. Hey Paul. <laughs> hey me. Oh you fucking prick. Come on in Kev. Hey! Oh, you bastard. <laughs> Go on, that's easy. Kevin, with yeah. an E. Kevin. That's easy. Yeah, that's easy. Come here. No, 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 don't go. Oh, they ain't. Oh, we're not swearing on the camera. It's got to be in there. Come here. Double. 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 No Double. choice, you've got to go there. Fucking drive each other and have a social one. Hey. Easy. Easy. <laughs> he didn't even need to be in it. Happy days. Filch him and Chad. Where you wanted to be. This is me coming out now. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's this <laughs> Phil. 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 What's gone? Everything. Uh, Jack's double, <laughs> social <laughs> one, and bar. Boat. Boat. Oh, the boat. I'll go. One down here. I'll go, Cam. Nice oh, that's right though, isn't it? I was first last time. Oh, last last time. Who, what have you got left? Hurry up, we've got time yeah, to yeah, get the other one. Social 2 is the left. Social 2 is the one with that. Is the left? Is the yeah, with the left, the 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 margin and the H block. Yeah, no, no, no. Oh, is it the H block? The H block. No, I'll take the H block one then. Yeah, social 2. Stone. Happy days. Uh, hold on, he hasn't drawn you. He, he might set Fred in there or something. <laughs> he might pull Wally out. So you go. Go. <laughs> <laughs> so Is everyone happy? I'm happy. Yeah. Yeah. I'm happy.
Right, I'm here in the stone swim with uh, Tim. What's happening, mate? Sweet? All right, mate, yeah. How's it going? All right. Yeah? Well, looking at you at the camera. Oh, f both, eh? Yeah, that's right, mate. Yeah, it's going all right. It's going all right. Uh, what? So we're, not, we're about 24 hours in now, aren't we? Yep. So, uh, yep. So where are you... Uh, what what made you? Oh, I know you you come out last, but you, to be fair, before we got it, you did say you wanted it. What swim, what drew you to this swim anyway? I like having a feature to fish to. Yeah. And with that island along there, plenty of features to fish to. Fish to. It's not a huge chuck. Yeah. And also, yeah, you did well out of it last year. Yeah, that's it. I think any swim around the island there'll be fish. So I wanted to be around the island, to be honest. Yeah. yeah. And I suppose you can't you can't really ignore the catapults, can you? So no. whatever whatever comes out, even though, like I said, when our when I come here, I was going to go somewhere else, but then you look at the catcher ports and it draws you. And then Wally said, what was it, on Thursday? Yeah. I had three, three big 30s out and a big cat out. So, That's uh, what I'm saying, so you've got to go with it. Yeah, I couldn't believe it. Come out, <laughs> come out last, and I'd have probably, this would have probably been in my first three picks. That's what I'm saying. I'd have gone barn, probably cabin. Yeah, yeah, cabin's a good and, swim. And then this one. So, uh, yeah, I couldn't yeah. believe it. So, yeah, well done for Charlie picking social too. Don't make that shit. Yeah. That's what I mean. Yeah. Um, so, what, uh, what bait are you using, Tim? I've got T1 with me. Uh, and. Uh, Talking about maple. At the moment, I've got krill pop-ups. I'm yeah. fishing them over both of those, over a mixture of, of those baits, with a scattering of tiger nuts as well. Yeah, because obviously a lot of people, I was saying to Kevin earlier, a lot of people make the mistake by coming to France and think, right, we've got to, we've got to pile the bait in. But no, I put, uh, when you got it yesterday, you, what, 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 I put 50 baits along the margin yesterday. Yeah. And I've put 100 in today. Yeah. Just top it up, and just off the, off the point, a fish showed a couple of times yesterday and again this morning. So I've had a lead around and it goes from five foot up to four foot and then back down again. Yeah. So I've just spotted out a couple of kilo of mix yeah. on that uh, and a bait. So I'll, I'll I'll keep an eye on that. Yeah. How about rigs wise? What are you? Rig what wise? type of rig? I'm using multi rigs on, on both. Multi -rig. I like the multi rig. You change the hook easy. Done all right on it before. Nice yeah. little pop up. Uh, but just off the bottom. I don't think that. Look again. Catch a port. So don't have too many pop ups on it. Yeah. A lot of it's snowman. So. But then you've done well with Snowman. Yeah, so that's it. I think that's probably a lot of old <laughs> But also with the chod and all the, all the crap around, yeah. it, around it, I quite like the fact that it's just, just sitting up. Yeah, so the chod anyway, it's, it's one of them. Well, you're going to hit the clip anyway, but yeah. when you cut, you nigh on no, it's going to be it's going to be fishing, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, uh, but hitting the clip, that's what I learned from you and particularly uh, Ryan last year. Yeah. And so been Feeling that lead down as well. Yeah, if not in the clip, it's coming straight back in again. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. like, maybe we've all been guilty of it in the past where... I don't know, it's three in the morning and you think, right, I'll just, I'll get it out, do you know what I mean, get back to bed. But really, like, like I'd done last night, yeah. I, it took me three or four attempts to get it where I wanted it. I didn't think, oh, it's late, but yeah. it's just, just what you've got to do. Well, do you know I was in mean? the water in the way just about an hour, half hour, trying to get that last, that last cast right, and uh, it w did. And uh, whether or not that was a fish or a duck, I don't know, but... Uh, yeah. But what, to, what would you, um, what would you say your, your goal is at the end of the week? Would you love a couple of 40s or would you like 10 30s? You know, three fish of any kind would do me. Three fish. Would be quite nice. A couple of twenties and a thirty. Yeah. I'd genuinely go home happy. Because it was obviously for you last year. It was uh, it was quite tough. Yep. Your probably biggest mistake, like you and Kevin have said, was probably doubling up in jack swim. Uh, this year, obviously, you've gone straight away and yep. gone. Well, we ain't gonna. But but are you glad now that you've sort of chose to? Do you know what I mean? Rather go in a in a single swim. Yeah, should have should have done that last year. Yeah, but then yeah. got caught up, caught up in having like the social side of it. Yeah, that's and, it. And also thought the fishing was going to be going to be easier. Yeah. And it's only really about four days in that I started fishing properly. Yeah. Um, so I was kicking myself, but yeah, it's lessons yeah. for this year. So yeah, happy with our fish last night. Yeah, and we uh, just moving on from that day. But, yeah, because yeah. obviously, yeah. Well, as I was walking around a minute ago, I saw that you you had a screaming run. Yeah. Um, so they're obviously in that area. Do you know I what I mean? Are, again, anywhere in the island, I think you've got a chance. Yeah, that's uh, it. Got a decent bait. Happy, yeah. happy with the rigs. So nice place, place though, isn't it, Tim? That's beautiful, mate. Look at that. You Unreal. Know, beautiful. And that was another reason why I wanted to be here. Because yeah. it's, it's one of the best views on the lake, isn't it? You can see everything. Also good. Close to social, if they yeah. catch. Yeah. Close to barns, if, if you catch in here. Yeah. So even if you're not catching... Yeah, you're, you sort of help, you're all mucking in, it. Yeah, you? You're all sort of helping. And that's just great to, see, great to see the fish. So it's quite nice to be... To be involved. Yeah. So it's good. No, that's it. Well, mate. All right, mate. Well, I'll, um, well, hopefully I'll, uh, yeah. You'll, I'll you'll be... edit this and we'll see it, what, in about 18 months' time? Yeah, right, but, yeah, yeah. but, well, I've got a new computer now, haven't I? So oh, that'll be, uh, yeah. be, be, be quicker. <laughs> and then after this one's out, I'll do 2014's cool, one cool, of that sort of thing. Cool, look forward to it, yeah. Yeah, all right. Well, if, yeah, if any, uh, yeah, you get any fish or whatever, I'll obviously be around here uh, taking pictures. Come on, mate. Yeah. Come on, mate. All right, we're at Molyneux, 2015. Date today is the 19th, 2 o'clock. I'm in the double with Kevin, a.k.a. Teabag. What's happening, Kev? Sweet? Yeah, I'm sweet, Frank. Yeah, I'm 
Thanks, Pete. Thank you very much. Yeah. What? Um, so, what? What brought you to uh, pick this this swim, Kev? The double. Uh, catch reports. To be honest, matey. Um, to be honest, I wanted barn. Well, who had uh, barn? Uh, <laughs> but uh, Frank got there first. You got there first, Frankie. Um, I've always fancied barn right from last year. We made a bit of a mistake last year. Me and Tim doubled up up in Jacks, and. Um, but really, I should have gone in barn last year, but uh, it's a good bit of water. So, catch reports. Barn and double traditionally do well. Ryan had 19. Yeah, 19, yeah, that's it. 19, so it, it, it's a swim that produces. Yeah. So, it, it was available when I came out of the draw. I think I was third or fourth out. Yeah, I'll pick you out as it goes. Yeah, See, I've done yeah. another favour I've done now. <laughs> Well, only because you came out first and picked my swim. Yeah, all right, yeah, all right. Fair, well, yeah. Fair, fair Still bitter about that, but yeah. <laughs> um, what? So, how have you sort of come to choose your spots, Kev? Sort of, uh, yeah. How have you how have you come? Well, to that? once again, you know, on, on the word of Rye, he marked it out and drew it out last year, and uh, he gave me a bit of advice. But um, I knew if you fish close to the island, there's uh, it, it's pretty hard all the way out, just outside the, the foliage line. There's a lot of gravel, hard yeah. spots, and then it does drop into a bit of silt. So even if you are a little bit short, I think you're still fishing anyway. Yeah. So, you know, I've gone from the island because that, that's traditionally where these fish seem to patrol. Yeah. What um, what rigs are you using, Kev? Like, talk, talk us a little bit about what sort of rigs, because I know I know you sort of done that yesterday, as everyone does, they get here, just sort of throw a few about, hoping to nick one, to have bragging rights to go in when you have something to eat. Um, but I, I know you've changed it a little bit. What, what yeah, have you done? Yeah. I put three multi rigs on, uh, three different colour pop ups, and basically just fished to the island. Yeah. Set up for the night, and that's what I did. Any type of pop ups? Um, I've got a white krill that yeah. I used last night, um, a pink, uh, it's not very flavoured, but it's, it's, yeah. it's, a, it's a pink, more than likely quite, it's a dynamite one. So. Yeah. And um, I had a brown krill. Obviously, I'm fishing krill. Yeah. Um, so I had a brown krill as well. And the only only occurrence really, I had a, I had a little tench this morning. Yeah. Which is not what we're Saves here a for. blank, but yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? well, it's not really a fish, though, is it? It's, it doesn't count. Yeah. But then how about how about today? What what have you sort of put? Oh well, completely on different today. Um, I went out with Wally on the boat, and uh, I found some really nice spots. Really, really nice yeah. spots. You know, you. you can only think that's carpy is going to produce fish. So uh, I've done a bit of baiting up this morning. Um, I bought some scrag uh, krill, all different shapes yep, and sizes. Yep. I glugged that all yesterday, and I put this uh, this weird powder that sort of releases through the water. So um, I've had that soaking for 24 hours. Yeah. So I've gone out and put that out in the boat with Wally, picked my spots, and because it's hard gravel, um, I got um, I got a couple on a on a stiff material really yeah I don't need to be too you know too soft over there yeah fairly short stiff three ounce lead uh, blowback system yeah and um, on, on both of them I've got creel um, dumbbells yeah and just top with a tiny tiny little little pop-up hardly pop it just cock it up really. yeah what just yellow one one yellow yeah one white once again just to see yeah because they do like like sometimes it's mad you put you put whatever bait like I'm using T1 some people using tiger nut and maple poachers bait you're using krill but sometimes I think generally they probably just go for that little little bit of yellow like I think sight. yeah that's it just it's to sight, so it don't really matter but as long as like you said as long as you've You've obviously felt the uh, felt the lead down, got uh, that conk, got to know, do that. What standard. I um, uh, you know me, I'm 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 not you know I'm not brilliant at that. Certainly felt um, felt a nice hard fud on the right hand rod over to the tree. Didn't feel much of a fud in the middle rod, but I know it's fishing because I've just been out there ten minutes ago and with a prod stick. Yeah. So I know it's on the gravel. Yeah. Uh, it's hit the clip, so you know obviously the rigs mm. pushed out. And the same with the left hand one. I know we're on the gravel there, yeah. on the hard spot. So, you know, I'll practice this week more. Yeah. I'm feeling the feeling the drop, and I think you know, obviously, I, I will yeah. hopefully be a bit better that, yeah. at the end of the week. Like okay. you said, like you said, it's just about getting them. Like like some people sort of, I think, make the mistake when they come to France, is in they get here, they pile the bait in straight away, and but you think really every lake in France, and to be fair, some lake back home. People have been piling that bait in. So then when you get there, you're just putting more bait on top of that bait. So generally, like I did yesterday, probably is you're just fishing for a bite. Well, on the last last note, what would be your best scenario at the end of the week? Like being realistic. 
What would be your ultimate at the end of the week? I'm gonna smash it, man. Smash it. Absolutely. Would you rather have? I'm gonna tear the arse out. Would you rather? Would you rather have, <laughs> would you rather have two forties or would you rather have fifteen thirties? I'd rather have thirteen thirties and two forties. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good shout to be fair. Mate. Could, you know, All right, well let's uh, yeah let's hope the next video is of uh, you in the water, yeah. all wet, yeah. with your silly pants on. Now I've got decent pants. Oh, you've got different ones, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You've not got the prime Arnie's this no, year. No, no, you took the piss out. Oh, of Calvin yeah, Klein's no, no. You've gone all day. Yeah, yeah. All right, all right, yeah. Well, hopefully, uh, hopefully, Matt, I'll be back and uh, yeah, we'll have a few, have a few stories and yeah, you know have a cup of tea. Another tea, yeah. Well, I've done your tea bit. All right, mate. Year. Yeah, that's it. Right. right, I'm here in the social one with uh, Ryan. What's happening? Sweet. Yeah, nothing much, mate. Bored. Bored. Were you on the beers again or what? Fucking yeah, of course. Up, Ain't catching. Ain't catching. No. So what uh, What made you pick this anyway, this week? Oh, I'm going gigantic in September, so all I want to do is practice my casting, even though I keep cracking off. <laughs> How many times you cracked off? Three times. Three times? Fuck. Keep the match ball or what? Yeah, definitely. So what What's the uh, What are the distances you're hitting anyway, right? Left hand word is 25 and a half wraps by the uh, channel as it goes through to double. And then I've got another one, one's out there with a white sock, which is uh, 26 and a 26.5 wraps, and then my right hand rod's exactly the same, heading towards Phil. How did you, uh, did you struggle to cast it or not? Did you find it quite easy? Yeah, I struggled. It took me about an hour and a half to get all three of them out. Oh, was it? Yeah, it's shocking. So what, um, what do you think, by the end of it, if I was to say to you, what's the best scenario? Like, would you rather have, if I put it to you, would you rather have two 40s or 10.30s, what would you say? 240s. Based on what? Because obviously we know, obviously you come here last year and you've done, how many fish did you have in the end? 19 in the end, and uh, one got to go off me, so it should have been 20. Yeah, so I mean, but like like last year, you obviously started, you started quite slow, but then you started picking it up. Why do you think that was, and do you think that would happen again this year? I reckon because of baiting. I baited up this morning, so I don't think I'll get one until tonight, hopefully, and then uh, hopefully I'll crack on from there. Yeah, what, um, so what, what bait are you using on, are you doing a mixture or what, what bait and rigs, like, talk me through that, what I've you've done. two on T1 with a pineapple pop-up as a flowback rig, and I've got one on Tiger Nut Maple with a pineapple pop-up as a snowman. Yeah, to be fair, obviously, last year you, you done really well on that, didn't you? So you ain't going to really change a lot, are you? I ain't changing nothing, which I'm on the spots now, I'll be like that uh, all week. Yeah, so, and what... What's, what's your mate like next door, Charlie? It's his first time. How's he been? Oh, he's had one already, hasn't he? He's had... Yeah, he's beating me. He's smashing me. That's what I mean. You bring him to France and he and he takes liberties. <laughs> um, but yeah, all right. Well, what I'll do is uh, hopefully I'll hopefully I'll catch up with you later and you'll uh, you'll be in the pond wet with a forty. Hopefully. Yeah. Okay. Right. I'm here with uh, I'm here with Charlie. What's happening, Charles? Sweet. Yeah, I'm good, mate. You? Yeah, yeah, all good, mate. Um, how, how do you like it? This is obviously your first year. We we come last year. This is your first time. How, how do you how are you thinking about it anyway? What do you think? Anything that gets me away from the missus is fucking. <laughs> it's fantastic to be fair, but. And you getting married next year? Oh, I love her to death, don't I? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, uh, no, uh, how have you found it? Like obviously walking no, around when you get to here, be fair, it's your first time. To be fair, I was a bit intimidated when we said about coming. I thought it was going to be a bit, it's going to be huge. It's, it's a big lake, but it's not as big as I thought it was going to be. But I struggled a little bit, but being next to Jin just uh, helped me out. To be fair. Yeah. So what? Uh, yeah. Obviously, uh, as we'll be able to see by the pictures, you've uh, you've you've nicked one anyway. You've got a good start. <laughs> to be fair, I've I've pulled one out of the bag. It's only a baby, but. Little 20, 20 pound, bang on. But to to be fair, I said to Ryan, I said if I can catch one early, yeah, settle me and free for the week, I'll go home very happy. It just takes the pressure off. Like when you come here, it's like anyone. You wanna you wanna get that first one done and in the bag, don't you? Then you can. It's as if you can then relax. Oh, massively, because I'm like Mr. Blank wherever we go. You know I'm like, but come for the beers. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, but yeah, I love to blank. So you know, yeah. getting one early doors now I can relax and hopefully I will get a few more yeah. during the week and. Hopefully the rest of the boys can pick one up as well. We've we'll have a good week. Do you yeah. Know what I mean? So what? Uh, you picked social two. What? What was that? What sort of comes social to two that? Uh, on the walk round? It probably weren't on my radar, but walking around, I've then thought, yeah, it's a bit of me for casting, but I've let myself down with the casting a bit because I'm not reaching the targets I thought I would. So I struggled a bit, but to be fair, where I've stuck it, I've nicked one, and yeah. I'll stick with that plan now and change it. It's it's a nice swim, and to be fair, being next to Ryan or or you, if you'd have been a not such a wanker and nicked the best swim, 
That's um, what it is, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Good luck but I mean, but like, like you said, you've nicked one, but you ain't got it off that H block. So what are you going to do that particular area now? Are you going to well, I'm not going to go get a bait. I'm going to leave gonna the, the H block now. Um, going out of Wally and have a, a stamp around with a stick. Um, I'm going to leave the H block because it's. Uh, I probably can get there, but be about 15, 20 yards short. And he said, I can go for it. So it's not a problem. Go for it. It's still you're still nick. But what I'm going to do is well, I've gone exactly where I nicked the fish last night. And, uh, and I've gone to just followed it around, so if hopefully they're patrolling around in that area, I can pick a few more off. But come Wednesday, if I'm still only on one, two fishes, then I'll be in the H block. Yeah, and, what? I'll, and I'll be breaking my neck trying to get there. Wicked. What uh, what bait are you using then, Chart? What what have you sort of? I'm, gone on, for? I'm on Ryan's bait. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan's brought me bait. Now. I'm on. Um, to be fair, I caught on the tiger nut and maple. Yeah. Um, but I've also got the T1 out as well. Yeah. Um, you tipping out of anything, or just literally doing it as a, as a, just as a bottom bait on a blowback? Yeah, no, I've got a bottom bait with a, um, with a, uh, pi like a pineapple pop up. Yeah, like snowman. Well. Yeah, snowman yeah. rigs. Yeah. Um, to be fair, shown by Ryan. Yeah. Seems to work for it's me. Good instructor, in here. To be fair, you should put a ginger one on. It'd be all right. <laughs> um, the fish will love that. They'll be all over it. Yeah. Uh, to be fair, I'm just waiting. I thought I'd sit next to Ryan because he smashed it last year, and I'm just waiting to see his fish. Yeah, that's but it. You're doing well as well, so. Yeah, it's like it's like anything, isn't it? You just want, obviously, you want to catch yourself, but you don't. Mind, if they're coming out, as long as people, like, obviously, you come here to catch fish, don't you? Yeah, but listen, it is a bit of a social aspect as well. Yeah, the name of the swim is just summed it up, social, because that's exactly why I come. Yeah. Because of the social side of it, it's, it's be with you boys and have yeah. a good time. Do you know what I mean? To be fair, the weather's lovely. Yeah. So we've had a absolute touch at the moment, and the food's nice. Yeah. No, that's it, mate. And I'm all ready to book up for next year. That's it. Well, that's that's what it's like this place, isn't it? You come here, like, like I said, that's why we've come back here for the second year. But you've been here like a day, and already you you want to come back. It's that type of place, isn't it? Yeah, no, it's lovely. It's really nice. Yeah. All right, mate. Right. Sunday the nineteenth of April. We arrived here yesterday on the eighteenth uh, here in France, uh, Molyneux Fishing Lake. Um, really nice lake. Um, nice, really nice fishing here fish go up to, I think the fish go up to 50 the carp and the catfish go up to 76 I think it was last out so some decent fish in here, uh, there's 7 of us on the lake, I think the, the lake holds 10 but I think uh, Wally allows 8 anglers on at a time then everyone's obviously got a bit of room um, yeah so we come here last year really really good um, I think the most fish out by a single person was 19, that was Ryan in a double done really well that week um, a lot of 30s out of that. Um, he's hoping this year to get a couple of 40s. I had nine fish up to 32 pound 15 was my biggest. That was the biggest that come out that week. And the cat up to 37. So done really well. Uh, this year I come out third in the draw. I picked, picked barn swim. Uh, you can't ignore the fact that the catch reports are sound that a lot of them are coming out from here. This swim throughout the year He's um, yeah, he's really good. Produces fish. All of them do, to be fair. But obviously, catch a ports. I thought, you know what? Over the last couple of weeks, they've been coming out here, so it was only right that I come out second and and got in here. Um, I've got two rods towards the island um, and one to the willow tree, uh, all on snowman um, with a T1 bottom bait um, bait craft and a little mainline yellow pop up. Um, it worked for me last year, um, so yeah, obviously I'm doing the same again. Got it, didn't put too much bait out because a lot of people sometimes make that mistake where they come here, pull loads of bait in, and don't forget there's already bait been in. And you know what it's like, as you're about to leave, you don't want to take that bait home with you, so you just pile it in, try and nix out on the last day. So just fishing singles, um, like, like I said, little snowmen, and just putting 50 baits around it. Uh, so this morning I've got, I had a 32, no I didn't, a 31.5 mirror and a 27.3. So really good, really chuffed, pressure's off now, caught two fish, um, so I'm really happy with that. Um, I've only put in probably another 100 baits per Per rod where I am, I don't want to go too mad yet. Um, so, but obviously, once I start catching like you do, then you obviously increase it. You just want to keep them there. So, so yeah, let's hope, let's hope we have a good, um, yeah, a good, a good fish. Everyone catches, everyone catches a forty would be nice. Right, it's Tuesday the twentieth. Um, it is half past twelve. Lovely breakfast again. 
um, bit of action since I last spoke. Um, I forgot to add in the last one that Charlie did, when I caught two fish, Charlie did actually catch a 20. Uh, puck a little common. This is the first time Charlie's been here this year. Um, obviously we was all here last year, but yeah, so he's chuffed, he's off the mark. Um, since then, last night, which was obviously Monday, uh, Ryan got off the mark with a 20, I think it was a 25, maybe 25, 10, 25, 11. So he's off the mark. Um, also Tim, Tim who didn't catch one last year, he's also off the mark with a, what did he get? He had a 23 something, he's happy. And Paul nicked a 28, 10. So yeah, so more of them come out. Um, what I've decided to do now is on my right hand rod uh, near the close willow, I've put a zig out. Um, I'm going to try them. Um, I've been messing around with them at home and that, and now I think, you know what, I'm going to dedicate one rod to, um, yeah, to try a zig. I've started with two foot, put some cloud nine around it, throw some balls in, bit of water on it, bit of, um, bit of tiger nut juice, flip that in there. So if not, I might chop and change, rather put a little bit more bait in or change it to four foot. Um, I think the depth, depth's about six foot there. So yeah, I'll probably mess about with that, but I've got all day to do that. Well, I've got a week to do that. So I'm going to try and mess about with that, see what happens. Um, other than that, lovely dinner last night um, by Helen. Oh, the food is unbelievable here. Um, fishing is great and the food is great. You'll know if you've ever been here um, or you're planning on coming here, oh, it's, it's second to none. Great people. the time 155 uh, about an hour ago I got a 40 pound 14 mirror um, same again T1 looks snowman with a little yellow pop up um, oh, absolutely buzzing um, can't even sleep uh, Paul's also had one I think he had a 35 something really nice fish um, so so yeah buzzing get him Right, on the last video I've done, I've got the dates muddled up. Um, I think I said it was Tuesday the 20th. It weren't. It was Monday, and then I was talking about Sunday, the fish that was caught. But today's actually Tuesday. Um, brilliant action this morning. Paul's caught a, I think it was a 35.7 maybe. Uh, brilliant fish. Um, just next to the island in Jackswim. Uh, I think he called it IQD rig with a Tiger Nut and Maple Poacher's Bait Wafter. Uh, then I had one, uh, what time, about half 12, each one was at 12, mine was at half 12. Weren't really a screaming run to be fair, it was quite slow, coming really easy. It only started fighting when it got near the net. Didn't look that big in the water, but then once you got in the net you knew it was a big fish. Uh, that was 40 pan 14, that was um, same again what I'm fishing with, snowman rig, blowback style with a T1 18mm bottom bait. Baitcraft and a little 10 mil yellow pop-up whittled down. Um, they seem to be going for that. Uh, I've been putting 300 baits around each each rod now, uh, just frying stick, not going to handball them in, literally frying stick wherever they land, sort of a big area, that's how I like to fish anyway. Uh, the rig itself, the hook I'm using is a Razor, uh, size five, and I'm using N-Trap as my hook link uh, just obviously cut a bit off and use a bit of silicon to make the hook bend round uh, with a long hair so that's what's doing the business for me at the minute so I'm hoping to be fair during the day ain't fishing that well at the minute I've, I've gone to Ziggs um, went out in the boat with Wally earlier put some um, cloud nine around it 
uh, so there's a lot of food out there for them but yeah nothing's really seemed to be happening it seems to all be happening at night to be fair so yeah let's see I just want one during the day all of us do uh, obviously just to get some decent pictures as well but but yeah so we're off to a flyer so normally as in last year it started kicking off towards towards Tuesday to be fair Tuesday day after dinner they started coming out then as of then obviously they just started coming out loads and loads so yeah let's hope the same thing's gonna happen this year but yeah it's as you can see the weather's really nice a uh, little bit hot um, to be fair we could do with a bit of cloud cover um, temperatures drop a little bit and then maybe they'll start biting so but you never know let's uh, let's see what happens right I'm here in Jack's swim with Paul Sandy Paul you alright mate yeah good yeah good good what uh, what made you pick this swim in particular um, well being first out um, obviously gives me a a choice of so much, so many swims. Um, before actually arriving, I sort of had in my mind that there was three that I'd like to go into at a try this year. Jack's being top of the list. Um, Double and Balm were obviously on my list as well. So it just depends where you come out of the, out of the yeah. hat, really. You know what I mean? Um, being first, I obviously got the choice and. Uh, Bit of a dilemma, really, but chose jacks and uh, quite pleased with it, really. Yeah, wicked. Yeah, so obviously you've had you've had a couple of fish, mate. Just talk us through the talk us through the first fish sort of bait and location. Okay. Um, uh, the, the water itself is you know sort of quite trying. I've got big open water in front of me. Um, island and snaggy bits over to the left on the you know um, the island there. Um, started off really by like loading up with uh, a load of T1. Um, all around the island and out in the, um, the main water as well. Put all three rods out and uh, just sort of sat behind it really and waited for it to go. Fortunately, first night, Sunday night, round about sort of half past eight, nine o'clock, um, the old Delkin went roaring off and um, quite pleased. Uh, managed to get my first one out of the bag, sort of off the mark, so to speak. Um, sort of weighed in at, um, what was it, 20... 28, 10, maybe? Yeah, round about there. Yeah, it was 20, sort of 20, yeah. high 20s, yeah, yeah. which is uh, quite a nice starter. Yeah. Um, quite pleased with that. Um, and then sort of went on from there, really. Yeah, so then obviously now, well, we're on we're on Tuesday now. You had a, you had a great fish early hours of this morning. What time? About 12 o'clock? Yep. What was that, and where was that location? Um, once again, off the island, left-hand island to me. Um, I actually done like a, a little sort of exp exploratory trip with um, with Wally on his boat, yeah. and um, sort of done some marking out there, and managed to find sort of a hollow in the tree line, yeah. um, where there was a hole in the silt about sort of five foot deep. Just sort of give it a go overnight, and managed to sort of put a bait on it after about twenty attempts, <laughs> um, and sort of hoped it would come off and uh, yeah like you say 12 o'clock and um, managed to roar off um, which was a bit uh, daunting at that time of night being I was in You're bed sleeping yeah <laughs> you know couldn't find all the kit that I needed thinking I'm all sort of set up ready to go and it never plans out does it no you know what I mean so yeah I was really pleased it um, took me best part of 25 minutes to actually uh, get it on the bank um, thinking initially it was a catfish and then Lo and behold, I'm up in the sort of plus 30s, um, knocking on the door of 40, and I'm like over the moon. Absolutely yeah. stunning. Right, thing. I'm here in the cabin with uh, Phil. How are you finding it? Um, difficult, to tell you the truth. Um, fancied this from last year, because I, I thought I could get to the island. There's some nice swims along the island. I thought I'd easy reach it. Um, been struggling because the wind's been... Blind against sort you. Of, yeah pushing into my face so it's as I've cast across it's it's gone a bit wonky the cast so I've I've had a bit of difficulty with it but it is what it is and hopefully it'll come good in the next couple of days. I went out there today on the boat with um, Wally. There's a nice gravel patch but it, it's almost too far for me to cast but Wally said as long as I'm a couple of rod lengths within the marker I should be alright so Day. Hopefully tonight, if the wind can drop, I can hit the spot and then there's some stumps on the island. Same thing, a couple of rod lengths back. Hopefully tonight I can hit the spot. And I've changed, there's a marker float which goes out where Paul swim is. I asked him yesterday, does he mind me fishing this side of it? He said he don't mind, so I've been out there. 
Uh, there's a bit of a gully by the marker, my side. So I'll put a couple of kilo of T1 out there and um, hopefully put something on there tonight and um, we'll see what happens. So knowing what you know now, would you would you have chose this swim? No, knowing what I know now, I'd have chose your swim, the bomb. But I think most of us here would have um, chose it because it it weren't in it weren't in the script last year because Ryan had the double. But um, it's at the end of that lake. It's sheltered. It, you've got loads of overhanging willows. You've got trees to aim at. It's all castable. You're doing what? 17, 18 wraps. Yeah, 18 wraps for the island. Well, I'm trying yeah. to hit 23, 24 to that. So it's a bit too far for me. But. Yeah. yeah, and you've had a couple of fish and a 40. Well done. So, so it's obviously, yeah, obviously when you get here, you'll have to, you would have to think, can I reach them, can I cast it out? If yeah. you can't, then obviously you just got to yeah. go for it, otherwise it's a waste of time. Yeah. But you never know, obviously they weren't coming out in the day, but now, now Tim's just had a nice yeah. 32.5, so that's a good sign. Tomorrow's going to be a bit cloudy. Yeah. Um, so let's hope the temperature drops a bit and then we'll, uh, we'll nick a few. But this has always produced fish, so it yeah. ain't, and, Ryan last year didn't have he only had two by now and he ended up on a Saturday with 19 so yeah so Fucking there! Good on yeah. me. <laughs> Fuck me! That was the one off spot over there, just over there. Can you swim? Fucking we'll be swimming yeah. in the middle. I'm gonna go with that, don't worry, I'll fucking go in with this one happily every right. dice, mate. Gone from fucking Blanco to fucking Mr. Fuck. Prolific. Oh. Dice. Sorry mate. mate. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> but if you had to, as a, as a push, at a push, uh, French, English fifty, English fifty, French seventy, my team winning a Premiership. Who's your team? There's only one team, mate. Crystal Palace winning a Premiership. Never happened. Neil Wall. England winning World Cup. Who's your team anyway? Charlton. They never. Yeah. Happened. No wonder. Premiership. Who's your team? Our team, we win Premiership. Who's your team? We all. Not into football, but I'm a great fan of the uh, the UK flag, so England all the time. England winning the World Cup. Beer? None. I don't drink. Sandy? Beer. Beer. Wine? Both. 
Polen. 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 Here. Herrig. Herrig. Don't know what they are. I love Herrig though. Herrig. Stiffinch. Herrig. Do you know what fish chips mash your pace? Mm. Chicken shish kebab with lettuce and oh. salad cream. It's camping chips. Salad. <laughs> I've already spent it. One meal for the rest of your life. <laughs> uh, no. No, one meal? What are you talking one about? One meal, like that you'd eat the rest of your life. Oh, one meal? Yeah. Just have one meal. I've spent that already. <laughs> uh, one meal for the rest of my life. Rose lamb. Chinese. <laughs> Curry and chips. Steak dinner. Uh, coffee. Tea. Tea, of course. Coke. <laughs> <laughs> Tea. 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 Coffee. Shoes. Or in your case, sandals with socks. Crocs and socks. <laughs> Trainers all day long. Trainers. <laughs> Shoes. Shoes. Trainers.
Friday the 24th. Um, everyone seems to be doing really well now. A uh, lot of fish coming out. Uh, since I last spoke, we've had, let's have a look. We have had, Charlie's caught a 30 pound three ounce. Uh, Paul's, that was from the social two. Paul's caught a 19 pound two. Um, he'll be winning till of the week from uh, Jack's. Ryan's caught a 36 pound three, his PB mirror. Charlie's caught a 35 pound 10 ounce grass carp. So he's had three grass carp off the same spot and they come out rare in here, so that's just mad. Then uh, this morning, um, Charlie had, yeah, Charlie had another grass carp, so that was free. I had a 42 pound five mirror, that's my PB, so that's two 40s I've had now. Um, and Ryan had a 35 pound mirror. Um, the winds changed to a southwesterly, so that's proper blowing into my corner in the barn swim. Um, I've put a couple of rods down there, nothing as of yet. Um, but uh, yeah, we'll have, we'll have to just see. Um, the, the temperatures dropped, uh, it was hot over the last few days, but now it's dropped. Got some cloud cover, so perfect, perfect for fishing. Um, so yeah, hopefully we'll, um, hopefully we'll get some out. It looks bang on now for a bite. So yeah, hopefully this is our last day today. Uh, we're going home tomorrow, so let's see what, let's see what else comes out. pleasure for Helen and I to welcome you guys back this week and it's been a real treat looking after you and had a good laugh so thank you very much. As to the trophies, the Dick of the Week trophy, which obviously nobody wants, goes to Paul. And after it changing hands two or three times, it was down to a last gasp effort by Ryan with a 17, pa uh, 17 pound three ounce mirror to uh, pick up the tiddler of the week award. <laughs> Most fish of the week with two anglers on six fish, it was a split decision. And down to the weight, and the winner, by I think about five pounds, was Charlie. And you get the shirt as well. Oh, the biggest fish of the week, my god. This one changed hands a few times during the week. Charlie, uh, sorry, uh, Frankie first of all with a, with a 40, was then done by Blanco. Yep. <laughs> well done Blanco. Uh, Charlie, uh, Frankie took it back again in big style. And then on the very last night, Kev with a 45 pound 6 ounce mirror. Is it 45 6? 45 4. 45 4. 